Hello everyone. Welcome to a video tutorial which will tell you how to prepare your labs, your homeworks to submission. Uh, I believe that every one of you is already familiar with Maven archetype. Uh, you created your first uh, Java projects with this Maven archetype. And this is very important as uh, this software uh, creates the standard template for the Java project with a standardized uh, folder layout, the source, this target, and uh, several auxiliary, important auxiliary files as well. So uh, let's imagine that you created this project. You, you have written some software, some program, and now you want to submit it to your teaching team for validation. How to do this? Well, uh, it can be as simple as this. Just uh, select all the files, uh, pack them as a zip archive and upload, right? Uh, not exactly. As you can see in this folder, there are not only relevant files such as source, which contains all the sources, but there are also some files that are not relevant, that are unwanted in submission. For example, the whole target folder is actually generated when you execute Maven Verify, Maven Compile and stuff like this. So it generates a lots of uh, artifacts as they are called here. But uh, these artifacts, it is not uh, the things that you have done it's it's being done automatically so you don't want you don't need to submit this also we have this dot idea folder which is created by by the IDE. also there can be some like backup files and other stuff created by your editors by 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 your operating system uh, which which actually are unwanted in your submission well how to filter out these unwanted files uh, well, actually, in real life environments, uh, how do uh, programmers share their work? They are using a system called Git, that's a version control system, which allows uh, hundreds of developers to work together uh, to collaborate uh, on a single project, on a single code base without interfering each other. And uh, you, you might have heard about GitHub, for example. That's a huge... Uh, repository of open source projects and uh, this is actually a git git repository but git is out of scope of our course because git system is actually very complex and it deserves uh, a special learning it deserves time maybe it's a couple of months to be learned so it is out of scope and we are not expecting you to uh, to have Git installed on your machines and to use Git and to push your code to version control. Uh, so we are expecting you to just to, to zip it and upload. But never, nevertheless, uh, the Marvin archetype uh, created among other things, uh, it created the file called Git ignore. This git ignore file actually contains rules about which files are unwanted which files are not needed to be uploaded for example we can uh, find here dot idea folder or at some place there is a uh, there is target that must be a target folder not this one but yeah this one this is a rule for for target maven pro, uh, folder which in excludes it but we don't have git but we want to somehow respect this git ignore rules uh when zipping the archive how can we do this we're already using maven uh so we can leverage uh maven extensibility and use a special plugin uh special maven plugin uh, to do this job for us so this will allow you by the way to uh, like familiarize with uh, Maven better. So as you might already know, uh, the 
important file in, in your project is pom.xml, which contains description of your project. And actually it contains all the dependencies, uh, all the libraries, uh, which you are going to use in your project. You can put, put them there and they will be automatically downloaded from web and you can just, uh, refer to them while programming your own code. But besides libraries, uh, there is a section called plugins in pomp.xml where you can extend uh, the functionality of your Maven script, of your build script, and uh, like do some other things be besides maybe simply compiling and packing your project. So in order to uh, in order to make it possible to export your code, you should add another plugin. Uh, so you 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 locate this plugin sections in your POM XML, and then you write some code. This code will be provided in the description of this video on your Canvas page. So you just can copy and paste it. Uh, so we are setting the group ID. It's not homework quick start. It's called expert Maven uh, plugin, and version is. 1.0 and we are done actually. So now uh, we plugged in a plugin into the POM XML. Uh, so what can we do now? Now we are able to export uh, our project as a whole. We just type in Maven export colon export. Yeah, export two times. And just in, in a couple of seconds, well, actually when running for the first time, uh, Maven will download this plugin for you from the web, but then it's cached and it will be reused. So uh, it just tells us that it created a zip file uh, in the target directory. Yeah, the target directory is the directory where everything is located, uh, what's pr produced by POM XML. So we have this export zip and if we go into it, we see source folder uh, with all the Java files, right? But we don't see any target folder. We don't see a dot .idea folder and other files that are unnecessary. They are just not included into this zip file. Well, export.zip is, uh, is a default name for this file. Uh, Usually, like it's a good practice uh, to to name your files, your name name your submissions after you, so that we can easily identify it. So uh, we can configure it actually uh, by providing zip file name uh, parameter. Uh, for example, you can use your name and surname for the zip file, and when you when you run it, this maybe an export. Uh, here it is, uh, a zip file ready to be uploaded, ready to be uh, applied. Uh, please do it this way, as getting this clean uh, images, gi giving this clean archives of your Maven projects, we can give you better feedback. We can give you feedback faster. It will simplify our work as a, your teaching team a lot. Thank you for listening. Bye.